Okay, here's a quick look at the hardware. We have some of the eye hooks. We have these quick links. I also got this lock off of eBay, which is pretty cool looking. 15 feet of chain. Um, I probably use 20 next time. And these husky tie downs. And you also have this black felt for the uh, for the window of the uh, crate. Before we start, I would actually paint the dowel and the PVC pipe, you know, the gray and the black color, just so that by the time we need them in the project, they're dry and we can use them. Okay, so uh, right now I'm going to get started cutting the pieces for the front, the back, the top, and the sides, which is all going to be out of that pallet wood. If uh, you actually have 36 inch pieces of uh, pallet wood, you can get the 24 and the 15 inch piece out of one piece. So you get about need about like 15 pieces to do the whole thing. So right now I'm going to cut the 24 inch pieces, the uh, 15 inch pieces and the 8 inch pieces. Now those 8 inch pieces you will see will actually be for the front where the opening is. So also here I have it all set on the miter saw to uh, 24 inches so I can cut <coughs> excuse me all those pieces all in one shot. So basically they're all going to be the same size. So uh, yeah that's basically what I'm doing here as you can tell. Yeah I can work a saw pretty good huh? Look at that. Chop. Chop. Okay, well, as you can see now, I got the table saw set up. Now, I actually have 1x4s of uh, pine that I'm going to use. So, I'm going to make my 1x2s out of the 1x4s. So, basically, I'm just going to rip them in half. I had them, so I figured I might as well use them. Plus, they were uh, pretty weathered to begin with. So, I figured that I would actually look pretty good on the box. So, where the hell did I go? I'm just, oh, there I am. Okay, I'm back. So uh, yeah, we're gonna rip this one by four down and uh, make a one by two out of it. So here we go. Okay, here I'm actually gonna rip down a, a two by three that I had that I'm not gonna use for the feet of the base on the bottom of the box. So I'm just gonna rip this in half. So you're gonna get like a like an inch and a half, I, like a little over an inch and a quarter, something like that for this, and then. These you'll actually cut down to about 18 inches or so. Okay, so first we're going to do the back. So now you're going to need those 24 inch pieces. As you can see, I kind of laid them out just so I can get an idea of how I wanted it to look. And right now I'm putting the 17 and a half inch pieces in place. You will need two of those and then you'll also need the 20 and a half inch pieces as well. Basically I'm just going to glue them up and nail them right to the boards. All right, now we're going to get those 20 and a half inch pieces in place. Pretty much, you know, I glued it. Now I'm just going to nail the back. You know, so we'll do the top and the bottom, just like that. And hopefully, I'll shoot my hand. Well, that was close, or uh, not. All right, so yeah, there we go. We got one on. Now let's flip it over. We'll do the other side, and I'll show you what the finished product will look like. So now this is what the back is going to look like, and uh, now we just got to do two sides in the front. All right, now the front is going to be basically the same as the back, except for this is where you're going to need those eight-inch pieces I told you to cut out of the pallet wood. We're going to put one on each side, and this will actually give the opening in the front of the crate for the like the little uh, jail cell that you're going to make. So this is where you're going to need the four of them. So you're going to do two there, and then you're going to do another two up on top of that. And uh, that'll basically give you opening. So the opening will be like seven inches by eight inches, which is pretty good. You could always uh, adjust it to the way you want to do it. This is what I did because it just it figured might as well just cut those pieces instead of you know taking a jigsaw and notching a, an opening out. It was just easier to do it this way. So that's what I did. All right, and here we have the front now. Okay, so now we're going to take the uh, 1x2s that are cut down to uh, 8 inches and we're just going to mark three spots for the half inch dowels. Uh, basically I did 2, 4, and 6 and you know just find the center the other way. So uh, yeah, we're going to drill these three holes and this will basically give us the, um, the cage look. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm just going to drill down about a quarter of an inch. And I believe I wound up cutting the dowels about seven and a half inches in length, which uh, give it a little bit of space. But they fit nice and snug, so uh, 
That should basically work for this. All right, so now we're just gonna put the dowels in. I put a little bit of glue on the bottom and on the top. So I'm just gonna tap them in. Cause they, like I said, they fit a little snug, which is good. So I'm not too worried about them moving or falling out. So once we get the uh, top and bottom on, we'll get that all set up, nailed down. And here you are also going to use those two, uh, I believe they were 10 and a, yeah sorry 10 and a half inch pieces for the side which will basically give you like a little trim around the hole and uh, that'll basically give you your little jail cell look to the front of the box and this is what you're gonna wind up with it'll look just like that and I don't know why I turned it around oh yeah I'm showing my son the way it looks and he's actually kind of enjoying it nice little father some project all right so now we're going to do the sides basically it's going to be the same way we did the front we're going to take those two 17 and a half inch pieces and glue the 15 inch pieces on and you know just nail them down now I don't remember but I think I forgot to mention that the other pieces you're going to need are for the one by twos I believe they're about 11 and a half and that'll basically give you your uh, trim for the outside of the uh, the actual side itself. So, and obviously you're going to make two of them. So I'm not going to show you how to do both of them. Just give you a look at the one first, and then just repeat it for the other side. And what I do? Oh yeah, I think I nailed it down to the table. Uh, so let's get the hammer and pull it up real quick. Ah, there we go. So, uh, there we go. Okay, and basically this is what we got for the first side, and that's what that's going to look like. So like I said, repeat for the second side. And now comes the fun part. Once you have all your sides assembled, now we're actually going to put the box together. Now with this, I'm going to countersink three holes, basically in each corner, and use uh, some two-inch screws. Now I am making this so that I can actually take it apart because I'm you know fixed for space as far as storage goes so you you don't have to use screws if you want to permanently nail together or you know any any way that you want to do it basically I'm using the screws so that I can actually take this box apart and uh, store it because like I said space is limited and this is the way I have to do it so other than that, you can, like I said, fasten together any way you want. So uh, let's fast forward a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like once the box is actually put together. Yeah, my son wanted to get a little hands on. So I'm going to let him uh, put a screw in, you know, make him feel like a, a big boy. So here he goes. Let's see if he can do it. If I can get my arm out of the way. Gotta help him a little bit. Yep, there he goes. Nope, oh, kinda. Yep, my arm's in the way. Now he'll figure it out. Nope, oh, there he goes. Yeah, too bad my arm was in the way so you couldn't see it. But he was a help. He was a big help with this. And obviously you can see he's enjoying himself. Alright, let's give him one more try. Let's see if he can uh see if he can do it. And there he goes. There he goes. If you can, up oh, there he goes. Almost had it. He'll figure it out one day. Ah, there it is. Uh, the chip off the old block. All right. So basically, that's it. The box is done. Now we just gotta do the top and the base, and uh, this section will be done. All right. Now we're gonna attach the base. Now the plywood I use is three quarters of an inch thick. You can use whatever size you want. This is what I had on hand and I wound up cutting this 18 inches by 24 inches and I just basically screwed it down in the corners. I didn't go too crazy with it so and I used the uh, two inch screws again to uh, fasten it down to the box. 
All right, now that we got the base done, now we can actually start on the lid. And this is just going to be repetitive. It's, uh, you know, the five pieces that will cut the 24 inches. And you're going to take the 1x2s that are 18 inches long and two of the 20 and a half inch pieces as well. And you're just going to do the same thing like we did with the front and the back. And uh, basically just put it all together and that's going to be our lid. Now that we got the lid done, we're actually going to put the hinges on the back. So I just basically, you know, put the lid on the top and I'm just going to line up the hinges. I came in like four inches on each side and these hinges are basic door hinges that you get at, you know, at Home Depot. There's nothing special about them. It's just I got them in uh, black. Other than that, you can get whatever you want. So, like I said, I came in four inches on each side and I'm just going to screw them right right to the trim pieces okay now we're going to install those uh, one and a half by like one and a quarter inch pieces that we ripped out of the two by threes and basically we're going to use this to uh, you know elevate the box a little bit because once you install the rear piston the uh, foot sticks out of the bottom of the box by like half inch three quarters of an inch so this actually gives it a little bit of clearance so the box will sit nice and flat without you know being cocked towards the front plus it gives the piston you know it doesn't put a lot of stress on the piston it's got a little bit of travel before it hits the base so basically that's why we're doing that and once we're done with this we are actually done with the building of the box so uh, I hope you guys made it this far and I hope this video actually helped and we will get ready to do video number actually this be video part three and that will be installing the guts which will be basically the uh the pistons, the you know the uh solenoids, the boo box, the fog machine, the speaker and uh actually wrapping this sucker up in chains to make it look uh pretty scary I think so uh, guys I uh, want to thank you for watching and like I said I hope this video helped and uh, stay tuned for part three of the monster in a box